get ready to make a lot of money because XRP is going through the roof. It's not just exaggerated talk that prices could go up from $1,650 to $2,900 by the end of 2024. There has been a major improvement. BlackRock, the huge financial company that was the first to make a Bitcoin exchange traded fund ETF successful, is about to release an XRP ETF. It is truly impressive that they have been able to get almost every ETF plan they have sent approved. But there's more. It's not all BlackRock. By making STRS Grayscale, they're also getting into the market. They not only suggested an XRP ETF, but they also added XRP to their coin portfolio. This shows how important both XRP and Ripple Lipple and Ripple Labs are becoming in the field of global transactions. Let's talk quickly about Bass before getting into today's topic. I need you to do me a little favor. Press the like button right now. Subscribe and we'll turn on that alert. Bell to join our amazing group. Let's look into the interesting world of XRP and see what's new. More research into the data shows that BlackRock, which is the world's biggest asset manager, has a nearly perfect record when it comes to approving ETFs. Because BlackRock got involved with cryptocurrency and Web 3.0, the way standard finance looks at digital currencies changed a lot. Has changed a lot. Don't forget that BlackRock has an amazing 99.8% approval rate for ETFs. This makes it an unbeatable force in the ETF world. In this case, it's very important to see the big picture. Big banks like JP Morgan and BlackRock have not only been interested in XRP, they have also been actively gathering information about it. ETFs have an almost perfect approval record, which shows how well they know how to navigate the financial market. A paper that was leaked says that these big names have invested more than 7.5% of their entire wealth in XRP. A recent well-researched piece even made a reference to BlackRock's possible shift in focus, completely switched from Bitcoin to XRP, which shows a big change in how they spend. This shows that people are becoming more interested in XRP, which makes the idea of an XRP ETF more likely than ever. But now things get even more interesting. A new development in the XRP story has shown that there is an XRP ETP. It's still a mystery who made it, but the fact that it exists is a necessary step towards making an ETF. According to reports, the XRP ETP has already been launched, but is still in the pre-release phase and has no value. It is expected to be revealed soon. There are more rumors going around. Just to give you an idea of how big this is, Bitcoin went up to $43,000 before its ETF start. On the same day that both the ETP and the ETF come out, an XRP ETF also comes out. This simultaneous release not only makes sense, but it also shows how quickly things are moving towards the ETF. It could happen just a few weeks after the Bitcoin ETF launches. XRP has a huge amount of promise. When the ETF hits the market, the price of XRP could go through the roof. It could hit 1,650 or even 2,500. Pay attention, this isn't crazy. The XRP ETP is already out there. As many of you may not know, the XRP exchange traded product was officially released by the huge financial company, Vittel. This made it possible for an XRP ETF to start in just a few weeks. This means that the XRP ETF is likely to be approved soon by the US Securities and Exchange Commission. A report that was leaked from BlackRock was used as the basis for a story that came out yesterday that said an XRP ETF might be coming soon. This leak made it look like an ETF filing for XRP was about to happen, and to make things even more exciting, a top BlackRock analyst stated in public that a BlackRock ETF would be launched. They even talked about the iShares XRP trust in an ATF filing that made people question XRP at first. When I looked into it myself, I saw that it was talked about. The webpage for the Delaware list of corporations, this important development shows that XRP's market position is going through a huge change that might be similar to or, or even bigger than the changes seen in the Bitcoin ETF. Both JP Morgan and BlackRock have bought more than 7.5 million XRP, which shows that they are serious about getting involved. BlackRock is leading the way in the cryptocurrency movement, and it's not just because they are hoarding XRP. They can do this by using the XRP system in their business and, most importantly, by going ahead with the public launch of an XRP ETF, since BlackRock has an almost perfect track record of approving ETFs. And there is a very good chance that the XRP ETF will be accepted. You can't overstate how much an XRP ETF affects its value. That's why a gold price of $983,000 has been set for those who are building the digital currency of the Republic of Palau's central bank on the XRP ledger and adding it to their systems. This is a great example of high demand, low supply, and high volume. As a result, the value of an XRP coin goes through the roof, which is something that's been all the talk lately. Is this how some people see how optimistic I am? If they say that XRP is just a dream, then maybe they're right. On the other hand, I want to say that I completely agree with this idea. For now, I'm going to roll that up into a big cigar, light it, and take a deep breath in. I really think that. During tough times, if you're not on board with hope and thinking, I hope it's a lifesaver for you. All of that is just wishful thought, which is fine, but I don't see it as a bad thing. My motto is to keep each other going. Not giving anything less feels like throwing beads into the air, which is not what we're about. We're going to stay. Positive speaking of positive things, I'm loving the discussions that make me think and the different points of view that everyone has shared. Really makes the brain work. One idea that was put forward about banks and XRP is that they don't always need to buy it.
you can already rent instead of buy. It's pretty interesting, isn't it? One thought came to mind what would happen if only regular buyers bought XRP. That's what I did. I even asked ChatGPT how many deals the Swift system handles every day. It was amazing that more than a trillion people replied. Remember that this only looks at trade between countries. It doesn't look at the futures market, which is worth quadrillions of dollars, smart contracts, non-fungible tokens, NFTs, or tokenized assets like real estate. Think about how XRP could be used in all of these areas, but let's just pick a few. If you cut that $7 trillion number by less than half, it would only affect trade between countries in SWIFT's area. XRP and Ripple have really raised the bar in this area. They had 1,700 links, but they could only handle $3 trillion of them. That would mean that every day the system must hold at least $3 trillion worth of value. Based on what we talked about earlier, it seems like some of these links will put money into it. If this happens, the value of XRP could reach over $150 per token on that day. It's clear that the value will go up. The value of the system can go above $150 once it is up and running, even if institutions choose to lease instead of buy. Take a moment to think about this. If XRP can handle just half of this market, all bank transfers, it will be worth well over $100 per coin. This thought will help you relax. While drinking an adult beverage, you might want to think about what this hopium vision could mean. There are lots of great chances in the world. But keep in mind that I'm not a licensed financial officer. It's only recommended that you watch these vids for fun. People who watch my videos should always do their own study and talk to experts before making any financial decisions. Thanks a lot if you like the movie. Please pay attention. Please click the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. Make sure that the alerts are turned on to be the first to know when new content that I'm excited to watch comes out. I hope you like the video that's coming up.